Morning everyone, happy Monday. It's, I don't even know what day it is, what, what date it is, but it's Monday and it's the start of a weekly vlog. I've just filmed a what's in my bag video which will be up by the time you're watching this. Um, Arla was just in the back of it the whole time playing with everything that I got out of my bag. Um, I am probably going to edit that video now and then I'm going to Leicester to take my Mac and my broken Apple Watch in to get fixed because, well they both broke at the same time which is really handy actually because I live 25 miles away from uh, an Apple store so yeah. I'm going to take that in, it's probably going to cost me an absolute fortune. Uh, the Apple Watch is in warranty but the Mac isn't so we'll see. So I've just finished editing the video, it's at 95% processing now, which is great. Um, that will be going up, it'll already be up by the time you're watching this, but that will be going up on Thursday. Um, I'm going to try and do a main channel video style every week, uh, which will hopefully be on a Thursday, uh, but I'll keep you up to date with that. Um, I'm going to go to Leicester now and go to Tiger and Apple and sort my shit out. Oh, very orange. <laughs> Hello, guys. I just got home from seeing my granddad. It's his, that's better. It's his birthday today um, and first birthday without my nana. So we just went round um, to see him. I made him a terrarium and he really liked it. My uncle wants one now. Um, I just thought that was a really nice little homemade present that he can keep forever. Well, yeah, to be fair, my granddad will keep it forever because he's like a plant guru. Um, I just thought I'd show you what I got from Sainsbury's today. They've obviously done like a spring like food edit and they've got some really cool stuff. Uh, so I thought I'd show you what I got. So this all came to about, I don't really know, there's no point me saying that, I don't really know how much it came to. Never seen these before, but these are boodles, which is funny. Uh, boodles, which are butternut squash noodles. Uh, a bit like courgette, but with butternut squash, so I thought I'd give that a go. And then some ready, pair, ready, blah, 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 ready prepared courgette. I normally make my own, but I've left my veggie um, oh, spiralizer thing at my mum's house. So I thought, oh, I'll get that, that's... Um, just easy enough to put it in the fridge then and then these were a bargain if you buy olives or know your olives you know that they're ridiculously expensive I got this which is 280 grams of um, pimento olives with like a garlicky black peppery marinade on it and it was £2 for one big pot like that so I thought that was a bargain so I got the um, garlic and herbs version as well then, these are my favourite things, I eat these for lunch every day at work anyway, but they always leak, which is really annoying. These are the tomato and olive spinach pastas, and these were on offer for £1.34 to be exact. So I got two of those, because I can have them at work. And then the most exciting thing is these. Um, ready to roast sweet potato fries. I love sweet potato fries. Um, and these are ready to roast ones and they're already got, um, it says polenta herb crumb, but I hate polenta, but I guess it's a crumb so it will just kind of like, hopefully burn away. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure it'll be like more of like a garlicky crisp on them. But yeah, so that's what I got. So I'm going to have probably the courgette or the boodles and some potato fries tonight so I'm really excited. I'm off to Newark Antiques Fair tomorrow with a couple of my friends and I'm taking Arla with us so that'll be really exciting to see what I can find. Um, my granddad just gave me some of my nana's rings and her engagement ring and needs repairing but I'm gonna get a chain tomorrow I think so I can wear it um, because it's a bit too small for my finger because uh, she had really small fingers. Uh, so that was really cute. So other than that, I'm going to get a crate, I think, and make Arla a bed. Because uh, we keep having to move her current one around everywhere. Because she's a fussy puggy. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to film today. Sorry I didn't film yesterday. Um, I was at work and it was really dull and boring. Hi guys, it's Thursday. I've had the busiest day ever. I've been to Newark with my friend Grace. And we took the dog and it was the busiest day. Um, I bought... Lots of goodies actually. One thing I can show you, the rest is in my car. I bought that 
air there. I've already got one there, which my nana bought me, uh, but we need two. So I bought this one, it was only a fiver, and it's vintage, and I just think it's really sweet. Uh, and I only like, really like wood things in my house. I don't like tacky things. Uh, not that if you have an error, it's tacky, it's just I have a specific fussy preference. Um, and I just snipped out to get Your Home magazine. Let me just check if I've got the right one now. <laughs> Your Home magazine, which I'm supposed to be in this month. I haven't seen a proof of it. I haven't seen anything. I'm just supposed to be in here. So let's see if we can find me. I found me, and even better, I'm not in the magazine. I'm in my own book. <laughs> This is the Rustoleum Make It Yours copy that comes inside um, the packet of your home magazine. So, uh, Rustoleum is a paint brand and they do chalk paint, which is really, really good prices, which is good for furniture or upcycling or whatever you want. Um, and I am in the Meet the Bloggers section. And then there I am! How cool is that? It says, at just 21 years old, it's exciting to see what else is in store for Charlie Pallet. Her homes and interiors section is filled with a curated inspiration, articles and how-to guides. We can't get enough of her styled Instagram feed either. Her black and white photography is dreamy. What a nice thing to say about me. And there's a little picture I took and then it says, Photo credit me. Ah, how cool is that? I'm so happy with that little feature in the magazine. It's so cute and I love that what they've written about me. It makes me feel quite good because I'm feeling a bit down about careers and things at the moment. I don't quite know where I'm at. I want a full time blog but it's not. <laughs> I own a house and I've got a dog and I've got mortgages to pay. Girl got bills. I got bills, alright? <laughs> so I need something that's like financially secure. So vlogging is a part time job hobby for me right now. But I'm just feeling a little bit deflated about what I want to do. And I want to blog. And I love it so much. And it's just hard that it can't be. I can't just go, okay, that's my job now. I can't do that. <laughs> if I was still living at home, I could probably do that. Um, but I can't right now. So I'm trying my best. I'm, <laughs> I upload twice a week and I'm now uploading on my channel once, twice a week. So I'm, I'm trying and all you can do is try. But yeah, hopefully one day, hopefully one day. But it's nice to be in a magazine. It kind of gives you that break that you kind of like, like I, I can do it or like pat on the back. Like, do you know what I mean? It's quite nice to get some recognition. Um, but yeah. I'm just waiting for Tom to come home now. It's only about half four, but he's just got his new car. He just sent me a picture, so he's really, really super excited. Um, he's got the BMW 2 Series, which I'm sure I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, he's so happy and so excited. Arla is asleep right there, if you can't do know where she was. She's knackered after going to the antiques fair. We walked around everywhere and she was really excited. So she's sleeping, she's sleeping. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what to do now. I'm feeling a bit like restless, like I don't know what to do. Also, I forgot to tell you, right, I have mentioned probably 900 times already that I am the clumsiest human in the world. You never guess what I did. Can you see that? That, my friends, is paint. The lady was painting the um, sh charity shop I went in and she was painting like, well, she wasn't, but someone was painting the door frame. So as I'm going out, she talks to me. I decide to hug, yes, I'm saying, hug the door frame and she goes oh oh it's wet and I pull off and I'm covered in it like it's on my hands everything so probably be too late by this point but if you have any tips for getting paint off cashmere blend clothing let me know I'm just spraying it with this because I've read if you if you put alcohol on it but I've not got any vodka at the moment I don't really want to lather it in wine that's not really gonna have the same effect so I'm just putting vanish on it at the moment probably not gonna help um, <laughs> I just titivated my living room a little bit and I really like how it looks. I just moved that, which was the bean bag, and the airer this side. Obviously, we don't keep the airer up all the time. I just moved the bean bag into the corner and the airer this side, and then I've put the chair in front of the window 
and then um that there is a picture that i took for my a levels which isn't going in here but i'm just putting it there for now but i sorted out the um shelf a little bit and just titivated it and i think it looks really sweet um if you didn't already know i'm obsessed with rustic interiors and if you want me to do like a house tour or an, in an interiors uh, i've got a section on my blog but if you want me to do an interior section on my youtube i can always do that or a home wire haul or a home haul my favorite things in the home let me know tom just rang me to tell me that he's around the corner in his new car so i'm just gonna go lock the house and go and see it oh, look <laughs> somebody's happy wow it looks cool really cool yeah we just got to the petrol station. I'm just having a look around Tom's car while he fills it up with diesel for the first time. Look how cool these seats are. He's got the M Sport package on it. And he's got these really cool, they're like suede leatherette seats with this like blue trim all the way around. Um, there he goes, the M Sport. And then it's the 220D um, BMW. And it's really cool. He's a very happy bunny. Uh, it's got two seats in the back. Oh, it's so nice, isn't it? So nice! Hi guys! I just got the post and I just got some deliveries from some eBay purchases I've done. I'll oh, get out of the way. Uh, so I thought I'd show you what I got. The first one is some pairs of glasses. I really, really need some glasses at the minute. And I wanted some like vintage style, like rather large ones. Um, so I ordered these. They were about £3 each. I've got a 1.75 and a 1.25. Um, so I ordered two so that I could pick the ones I like. They're two different styles. Oh, Arla, <laughs> what are you doing? One's more of a tortoiseshell and then the other's um, a bit more of a subtle tortoiseshell. So I'm going to try those on. So this is the first pair, this is the 1.25 pair. I really like the fit actually. Let me get out the way of the window so you can see a bit better. And they look really cool. And then this is the other pair. And they look cool. I'm really happy. The next thing is a phone case. It's the apple pink one actually. It looks orange on here, it looks like the same colour as my jumper. But it's the pink one and I can't wait to put it on. So there we go, there's the new phone case on my iPhone 6 Plus. It feels so soft and lovely. Um, I've wanted this for ages um, and I'm really happy with it. The final one is broken, which is great. Um, I'll see if I can fix it first, but it's a cookie cutter bone, um, but it's broken. So I need to try and fix that now. So there we go, I've fixed that and uh, that's the Oh, maybe I haven't. Hold on. What is going on? There we go. That's the bone cookie cutter for me to make Arla some um, dog treats, which is super exciting. I'm going to make her some um, little treats bones so that I can make her the treats instead of buying them, which I think is a really cute idea. So I'm just going to film a pet tag video now. I've got a really exciting video which will be coming when you watch this, it'll be on Thursday. Um, so definitely watch that. It's It'll be a pet tag, but there's a really, really exciting giveaway. Um, a, like, in total, six giveaways, actually, but for two different things, and I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna film that now, and then I'm gonna go, oh yeah. Then I'm gonna go to Citroen, because I've got to drop off Tom's, um, service book from his old car uh, for him and then I might nip to Elm. Hi guys, so I just got back from uh, Kettering. It was a right palaver. Um, had to sort Tom's thing out, which I'm hoping is in here because I can't remember where I left it. Yes, it is. Um, I got some stuff from Poundland, so I thought I'd show you what I got. The first thing I got was um, 150 plus 50 free 200 poo bags. I like these ones at the moment that are already open because when I'm in a rush, they save me some time. 
Um, then I got, oh, then I got some rawhide chews, which Arla absolutely loves, and these are all in different shapes, like pizzas, love hearts, rings, bones, all sorts. And there are how many in there? Thirty in there, and that was only a pound too, so that's really good. Uh, then I got this book here, which is actually for Chloe. Um, she is a dog walker by profession. And I saw this in there and I was like, oh my God, I'll send her a picture. And she was like, can you get it? So I was like, yes, of course. That's for Chloe. She's coming to pick that up in a bit. Then I got a nonstick baking tray. I love Primark, Primark Poundland's um, baking section. It's called Kitchen Corner, but there's another one as well, which is like a quite kitschy, girly. But yeah, their, their baking stuff's really good. So I just picked up one of these. It's only a pound. Really, really handy just for our oven. And then I got three collars for Arla Bear. Um, they're only a pound from Poundland and they have three different sizes and I just think they're really cute. There's a black one, a brown one and a red one. The next thing I got you can't really see, so let me take these off, is a boot rack and it says boots and wellies. I just need to take that tag off, um, but it's for our boots because um, me and Tom just wear boots mainly. So I got this and I thought, we can keep our boots on it and then they're not getting in the way because it keeps having a go at me for all my shoes. So there's our little boot rack. I need to find a proper home for it, but it will do here for now. Oh. Look at stretching a little bit. <laughs> You're all right, stop shaking. Good girl. Good girl. So she goes right to the court. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. happy saturday i'm off again today which is really nice we just went to peterborough did some shopping and got loads of food from mns we took arla's hydrotherapy this morning as you'd already seen and she was really really good um so yeah that was really exciting and now i think we're just gonna chill uh, we did my makeup this morning and i really like it i've got charlotte tilbury glastonbury on my normal eyeliner and bold brows and a little bit of contour lots of highlight this puppy is tired. She is so tired now. Hi guys, so I've just been doing some work and taking the dog for a walk. I've taken my lipstick off now. Um, after a, quite a few hours, it gets a bit dry. Um, we went to M&S earlier and we now have a very, 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 very lovely looking fridge. So I thought I'd show you what we got. I just cleaned it out. Oh, we have a snug fridge, by the way, and they are literally the coolest things. So we've got olives, courgette, that's boodle stuff I bought the other day, some chicken arabata for Tom, prosecco, wine, cloudy lemonade, pink lemonade, um, sweet potato fries, uh, mushroom risotto, Bacon, strawberries, vodka, lemon and lime. Lots of these fridge fries from M&S, which are literally the best thing ever. Some spicy red hummus, um, salad, quinoa rice, risotto and a stroganoff. And then peri peri potatoes. Um, two of these chicken tagatellis and one mushroom tagatelli. And then we've got two bottles of champagne, some um, design and burdock cider and some more cider, some more pink lemonade and some coke and then just all the other bits in there. We've started shopping in M&S recently based on the fact that it costs a bit more but you get better food and we've justified that as an a-okay thing to do so yeah we're really obsessed with M&S at the moment. Um, the f you can't fault the food at all. It did cost us £50 for all of that, which probably would have cost us 30 in co-op or something, but it's much nicer and it's 
I don't know, it just seems, <laughs> it just seems that it's easier to pay for it and it's nicer to eat, so. Hi guys, it's Sunday now. I've been at work all day. We just bathed Arla and now she's biting my foot. Oi! Honestly. Now we're just gonna watch House and that's about it really. So that's it for this week's weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.